It was the wrong time and the wrong approach. The changes to the tax code are pretty stupid too. Jim Himes and Steve Obsitnik engaged in round two of their debate series Thursday in Norwalk. The two candidates for the state's fourth district congressional seat actually shared similar stances on several issues. I agree with them on defense. But as you'd expect, not all issues. The two traded barbs over the national deficit. And he said, quote, debt does matter when you ran against them in 2008. Well, now we got six more. So now it must really matter, Congressman Himes. And maybe we need to get a third podium up here again to let Congressman Himes debate with candidate Himes about what really matters fiscally. Saying no to absolutely everything, and then four years later saying, you didn't do enough. Oh, and by the way, the crowning chutzpah is, we got to go back to what got us into this in the first place, because the answer is clearly widespread deregulation and more tax cuts. Again, to me, that's a pretty clear definition of chutzpah. They also differed on how to revitalize the housing market. The United States public bailed out the banks. To my way of thinking, that gives us a lever to say, when you were flat on your back, when you were going to go bankrupt, the United States taxpayer bailed you out, now you stretch. Government has to create an environment where entrepreneurs and small businesses can survive and thrive. Sometimes the pair did not shy away from getting personal. You're hearing partisanship. You're hearing cheap attacks. And this unfortunately is, I think, not because he's a bad guy, but because I'm not sure that he really thought about doing this before. He's created Jim Pack, where he spends thousands of dollars of yachts and, and all this other stuff, which I disagree with. Watch the TV ads. He's calling me Wall Street Jim, riding around in limos. Last time I rode in a limo was when I was married 18 years ago. I want to be a representative. You deserve better, and together we will do better. We've got tough issues like immigration, issue upon issue. And I would humbly suggest that I am in a position to address those for you, and thank you. The two will face off twice more before Election Day, first in Wilton, then in Bridgeport. Mike Peel, it's Relevant.com.